Okay, so let's talk about um, putting in textures into your um, artwork, in your digital work. I have some textures that I scanned. Um, this was actually a print, so I had ink, and then on like a plexiglass, I kind of did uh, what's called scraffito, so you're marking out, um, you're take, removing the ink, and then I put a paper on that uh, for the transfer, it's like a, a mono printing technique. So I have, this has some really interesting stuff going on. We've got the wood here, wood grain, wood paper, tin foil, and some suminagaji ink marbling. I'm going to look at um, the template that was made previously and I'm just going to see if there's anything in here that I created that I really like a lot. So this is really interesting. It looks like gold and it looks really metallic. Um, this is also kind of interesting. So I'm going to take, have to remember um, which color I used and um, the texture that's used. So if I right click on there and say disable, I can actually take the eyedropper and sample that color. I'm going to go to my source file, which is here, and I put in some areas of that specific color. And now I need to put in um, the texture. So I have to go to my um, tin foil, um, which is here. I'm going to copy this. So select all, edit, copy, and we're going to go back to the source file. Now, if I just paste this in, it's going to kind of go everywhere. And you can get a feel already for how big the file is according to um, my source file and where I want the where I want to implement that the texture. Um, in the previous examples, I just I showed you how I just copy and pasted a texture in and then just changed the opacity, which is one kind of cool effect if you want texture um, for everywhere, like as an overall effect. And what I might do here to con continue it down there is if I have the move tool and I press option or alt on PC and I see how my arrows go from one arrow to double arrow, I'm going to click and drag and that creates a copy. That's just a quick way to copy um, a layer. And now I want to put it at the bottom, but I want to actually line it up so that it's flipped horizontally. So I took this and I dragged it down, but I want to take it and flip it like, um, right, like, like that. Um, so that the lines match up. So what I can do is edit transform and we're going to flip this vertically so it goes like that and then when I align it down there um, I, it's easier to see if we're at um, opacity right so you can kind of see how that's a, f a symmetrical um, flip. Okay, and from there I might want to merge these together, so shift click to select more than one. I can right click and I'm going to say merge. So now that's all one layer. When you merge, make sure your opacity is 100. If I had this at 60 and this at whatever, and now I merge them, See how that changes to 100, and now I'm stuck with whatever transparency this was, and it can't, this cannot get any um, 
more opaque, which could be a problem down the road. So whenever you merge layers, it's just a good practice to make sure your opacity is at 100 and then merge it because you can always bring it back down. But if it's transparent, you can't make it, um, you can't undo that, right? Okay, so, so this is what it would look like if it was everywhere, which actually looks kind of interesting. Um, if I wanted to hide this in certain places, I could put on a layer mask, and now I could um, take a brush tool, and I'm going to paint with black color, and I'm painting inside the layer mask, not in here, and I could actually pick a different brush if I wanted to. I could take um, like more of a dry media brush and paint in blacks and that's going to hide or show the areas of that layer. So if I didn't want to have the texture everywhere, that's something that I could do. Um, let's actually apply this texture to um, our color, which is what we were going to do originally, right? Okay, so what I'm going to do is now that I have it the right size that I want it, I'm just, I can just copy it from here. Otherwise, if you're here, you would go to your tin foil, you would make sure this is desaturated by pressing shift command U. It's already black and white. If you're on a PC, that's shift control U. So I'm going to select all. I'm going to edit copy. I'm going to go to my source file. And what we want to do is we want to paste um, this in to our color layer that we want it to affect and we want it to go in as a layer mask. So what I'm going to do is first this, let's call this gold, and I'm going to give it a layer mask first. Now I need to access the layer mask, so we're going to press Option or Alt on a PC, and now I can paste that in, edit and paste. Now I need to get out of there, so I'm just going to click back into my um, the thumbnail of the actual layer. I'm going to deselect. I don't need the selection anymore. And let's see what that kind of looks like. It's kind of interesting. Okay. Um, what you can also do from here is take this layer. I'm taking the layer and I'm going to change the opacity. I can bring it down if I don't like it as much. I'm going to show you one other way quickly that's not through using the um, the layer mask. So we're going to talk about clipping masks. So I have this in and we're going to make a clipping mask where we are attaching this tin foil. It's only going to show up where there are pixels on this layer. I don't want it to be everywhere. I only want it to show up on the areas of this layer. So we're going to press um, Alt or Option, depending on PC or Mac. And notice how I get this strange looking box with a arrow down. So I'm going to click. And now this has been attached. What's happening, though, is that I don't see the color of my layer. I actually see the color from the tin foil. So if I wanted to blend the colors in the tin foil with this golden color, what I could do right now, this is set to normal. So let's make it, um, you could, let's, let's play around a little bit because layer modes are fun. So you never know, um, I think it's good to just, if you're a beginner with Photoshop, just play around and a lot of things that you like are just, they happen out of experimentation. 
So if you set it to screen, this is going to emulate um, screen with a layer, texture layer that's desaturated, that's attached to, with a clipping mask to another layer, is going to emulate um, the colors that we found in here. Where we, um, so that's the closest that you're going to get to having a layer mask with a texture and the color blending like that. So screen is your, um, screen is going to be the layer mode that you're going to use there. Um, okay, and then from here I could change the opacity on the actual um, layer, which is the color. Um, if I change the opacity on the tinfoil layer, it's going to show less texture and more color. So let's try that. So this is at um, 50 percent. And if I change the opacity here, this is showing me everything, really, because this one is attached to that one. Um, so you can play it around with attaching textures. Um, why don't we just do one more. Um, I want to take, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to copy it. It's already in black and white, but for the sake of everything, let's do um, a desaturate here. Image adjustment desaturate. It got a little bit more black and white. So select all, edit copy. Let's go to my source file, and I'm going to paste. Okay, right away when I paste, it's being attached. How do we unattach it? So let's do the same, it's the same way as you attached it. Option or Alt, and you can attach or unattach. So I want to set this, maybe I want it to be um, where the rainbow is. So let's find the rainbow layer. Okay, there it is. Um, all right, so let's let's vary at the bottom. I'm gonna drag this down, and I want this to show up where the rainbow is. So let's show it. I'm gonna attach it. So that's what that looks like. And now let's change this to screen. And that looks pretty cool. And the reason is because um, this layer itself. Let's look at it by itself. Um, this has a little bit of a gradient in the coloring, and it's got a lot of um, textured erasing. Um, so that is why um, you have that blend in color. And I could actually um, bring this down, the texture down, so that it shows more of the color and less of the texture. And say, for whatever reason, I don't like this teapot being golden like that, I can just take the eraser tool, and what I'm going to do is erase the, um, the coloring that was on this layer. Because the texture only shows up where there are pixels on your layer. If I wanted to make gold somewhere else, I could paint it in and that's going to give me the text, right? You can see that the, the texture is showing up there. Whoops. I, so don't, do, don't erase your texture because you might need that. Erase the pixels um, in your color layer. So that's a lot about um, adding textures in. Really have fun. Play around. Um, you know, you can take something like this, we'll take levels, we're going to darken it a little bit, select all, copy, let's go to our source file, paste, we want to bring it out, and um, I want to bring it to the water, so let's bring it down to the water, and I want to 
you got to move it with the move tool to where it needs to be.